What's up everybody? Main boat guy back again. Did you miss me? We're going to be pulling that SEI Alpha 1 apart. Um, I did a pressure test. I've got a couple leaks. Uh, one I believe is below the water pump and the other one I saw is the shift shaft seal in the back. Um, see if I can show you. I can also show you the bolts we're going to pull apart. We're going to pull apart those two through bolts. Single bolt in the back. Make sure your speedometer fitting is off. Um, trim tab's going to come off. And then there's going to be one bolt underneath after the trim tab. Oh, I'm sorry, call it a trim tab. This one's just got the flat zinc. But after the zinc comes off in the front, um, well that wasn't good. We shut the camera off on ourselves. Okay, so I was going to try and get back here and point out. I'm not sure I'm going to have enough light with this camera. Yeah, probably not. But that shift shaft that it's slowly zooming in on right there, where the shaft goes through the housing is is leaking on a pressure test so that is a definite need um, seems like the upper half is good <clears throat> just got a couple issues with the lower half so we're gonna pull it apart double check check the water pump see if we need one of those and uh, we'll let the customer know exactly what he needs to give him an estimate Alright, let's pull this baby apart. <clears throat> Close the coil's end is too thick to get all the way around it. These are just 5 eighths top and bottom. And make sure you have the gear oil already drained. If not, you are going to make a mess. I let this one drain for a couple days actually. <clears throat> Plenty of salt corrosion on those bolts so we'll hit those with the wire wheel and grease them up before we put them back in. Sorry I don't have the greatest stand but I am not a big shop, so I don't have all the tools quite yet. Slowly, slowly collecting all the stuff. Speedometer connector is any good, so we're going to get another one of those so we can get an accurate speedometer reading. They do make some nice semi affordable roll around stands for the drives, which I will most likely be purchasing in the near future. So I'm going to do more videos on these. I'm going to need a more stable surface to do that. Zinc on it too. We'll find out from the customer if he leaves it in the water. I believe he leaves this in fresh water, so we'll do aluminum zincs. We won't do the zinc material, or we'll do magnesium if he wants to spend the money. <clears throat> uh, magnesium is straight fresh water, aluminum's brackish, 
Uh, yeah. And then zinc is straight salt water. That's a 916 bolt under here. Half inch bolt under the center. And they call that the front of the drive. This is the rear of the drive. These drives are a lot easier to take apart than the other ones, the Gen 1s. At least the, the hardware, the rest of it's about the same. Not huge difficulty to working on these. Just paying attention to stuff when you're taking it apart. She's going to be together so. That's the hard part about not having a good stand. I'm going to put the bolt semi back into the back a few threads and let the rubber mallet lift up and hopefully get a good Alright, sorry about that. We got a phone call and then I started working on it again without turning the camera back on. So, um, I had to put that bolt back in there, a couple threads, lift it up on the top of the drive, bang down on that, and then I did rubber mallet underneath this back plate, picking up on the top of the drive just to separate the two. Um, and then, you can see she's just coming separated. This is a good reason for putting grease on everything when you do put it back together. Bolts, hardware, um, the dowel pins, etc. So I will use the screwdriver, separate it the rest of the way. As you can see, there's always that little bit that's going to drip out. But what is getting frozen on these? The zoom in, dowel pin right there. And dowel pin right there. Those are the major places you want to put grease on. So we'll pull this water pump off, clean this up a little bit, and then we'll get a plug to put in the transfer hole from the upper to lower for the gear case, plug this off, and we'll do a pressure test again to pinpoint the other leak if there's another one under the water pump.
You may want to wear rubber gloves if you don't do this normally because this gear real stinks. You're going to have it all over you. Wipes going to kill you. You're going to make a mess with it like I do on a daily basis. new so we'll leave it up to the customer if he wants to change it or not I obviously will recommend it because I'm in here but that is gonna be his call So, we've got a decent mess inside here with some corrosion. Um, the pink is, I want to guess, from the non-toxic antifreeze. It hasn't been run since winter eyes. Um, and I'm suspecting it's this oil seal. I'm going to replace that whole housing with the seals in it. Um, because one thing I did notice when I picked the boat up, and you can see just a small trace of Right there, the gear oil was running down through those pickups. And when I did the pressure test, it wasn't lit, it wasn't coming out of the shaft seal at the top. And I just couldn't see below the water pump. And then you can see the come on, shift shaft seal. You know, that's, that's fresh stuff on top, but you can see the wetness on that. And I definitely had some leakage on that. So we are going to just reseal um, 
see that was dry before I pulled it apart so I believe we're just going to reseal the bottom end and uh, see if he wants to do a water pump and then we'll put her back together thanks for watching